So the director DP relationship is most of the time I work with directors that don't know what they like, but they know what they don't like. What you have to do is you have to present them with and start the conversation. So what I do is immediately when I get on the project, I usually come in, everyone, the production designer, the whole team has already been going for a month or two before I even get uh, brought into this thing. So when I am brought in, I'm immediately trying to see all the locations that they have uh, chosen and then uh, weigh in on whether I really like those or sometimes, you know, things are just unlightable and we lose a location, whatever the case may be. But I'm going in there and I'm seeing as many locations as I can uh, for that first week. And then after that, I'm, uh, I document all those on my Insta360 camera. I put my headphones on. I sit down for the whole weekend and I do two 16-hour days where I literally start to block and shot list the whole movie. And then I uh, will present my first, I usually get 30 or 40 scenes where I, uh, I'm able to do the shot list and blocking schematics and everything on. And then I present that to the director for our first like shot over the bow kind of discussion and the assistant director's in there and we literally sit down and we start to read the script and as he reads the script then I talk about my shot our shot list and then a lot of times immediately you'll say okay I thought about starting here and he goes nah I didn't want to start there I wanted to be I wanted it to do this. And you're like, oh, okay, yeah, you're right. That is a better way to start it. And then it starts the conversation and it starts this beautiful sharing of each other's visions. Now, I've done it all different ways, but this way seems to work the absolute best because you start that conversation He or she also sees how much you're invested in this project and they really see your commitment. And these are great things to have when you are, you know, getting to know the director if you haven't worked with her or him before. So these are great ways to really push and show the the power of collaboration. Do you go out and hunt down agents or do you let your agents, the agents come to you? You hunt them down, okay? You know, it's gotten very competitive out there. When I started out, there were not a lot of agencies for director of photographies because there was only like 500 director of photographies in the United States. Now there's like 15,000 because the content creation boom or 50, how? I don't even know how many, but there's a lot. So I would go and look at the agents and and basically what I did is I looked at their roster. You wanna look at how you feel you're gonna fit in. And if that roster for the agent looks really good, then, you know, I would say go for it. And that way you, you call them, you send them your reel, you reach out to them, you uh, try to be as personable as possible. You're interviewing them as much as they're interviewing you. Okay. And the personality fit matters, right? Because you have to make sure that this is somebody that's going to be comfortable putting you out there. Remember though, an agent's job is to get you in the room, but it's your job to sell yourself once you're in there, right? And when I say sell, it's like to get the job. So a lot of people think, oh my gosh, I have an agent. I just get to sit back and all this work comes in, but it's, it's your job to go in and wow the interview with the director. It's the agent's job to position you. So give them everything you can give them so that they can position you, have them understand your personality, have them understand what types of projects you wanna shoot. The more that you can share with them and they get to know you as a person, the easier it is for them to to pick um, what 
projects would be right for you. And it's also a matter of, do you want a big agency? Do you want a small agency? You know, think about all these things. Shane and I have learned a lot over the years and we have had a number of different agents or Shane has, but I've always a part of the process uh, in selecting the agent and as part of the relationship. So, you know, if you want your spouse or significant other involved, that's an option too, right? Because I read all the scripts, I work with the agents as much as Shane does. So it's important to know all of these nuances behind the scene so that you can then advocate for yourself. And one thing that you also want to know is and by getting an agent does not mean that their job is to get you work. Your job is to get you work. Okay? Flat out. It's your job to get you work. It's their job to position you in the right place perspectives and introduce you to the right people that then you can go in and slam dunk. If yeah. I've gone through my whole roster of my five or six agents I've had during my career, I would say my agents have gotten me 20 out of the 500 plus things that I've gotten, right? Uh, but those 20 were the ones that shaped and formed my career, okay? So it's not like a faucet opens when you get an agent and they just roll out the, the work. It's still your job to follow people on Instagram uh, that you want to work with, track, uh, you know, try to get out there and network and try to, you know, get yourself seen in, in any way possible. One thing that I learned in interviews, and this is one thing, the thing that Melanie Ramsayer, she was my first feature agent back when I did the Rat Pack. And the advice she gave me is something that I've taken into interviews ever since. And it's because I lost a job. So I lost a job and this guy got the job. And then we were in the same agency and we were repped by the same agent. Okay. And I asked her, why did I not get the job? And she said, well, you know what the other DP did? He went in there and he took apart the script and he said what he liked about it, what he didn't like about it, and how he thought he could improve it. It's not the look. It's not, the, you know, how we're going to wow them with shots. This director of photography taking the time to really get inside the mind of the script and the story. When a director sees that, they see that you're totally invested. And sometimes your suggestions might be a misstep, okay? I've done that before. I've suggested things that might not have been what the director wanted uh, in interviews, but at least you step there and you go in that direction. And it's something that I really took from Melanie and I absolutely love that because what I do now is I read the script several times before I go in an interview and I really try to see the script as a whole what the message is, how I can intensify that message, and then maybe if there's something that doesn't work very well or is confusing or is not baked in correctly, I'll bring that up. When I went into the interview for Holiday, I sat down with the director and we were going through everything and we started to have a really good rapport. And we were going through all the different scenes in the film. And this is holiday, so it's all about these individual dates. And one was Cinco de Mayo. Well, the script is written to have it at a bar during the day and them drinking like crazy. And I said, what if we don't do it in a bar? What if we get like 10 taco trucks, put them in a chuck wagon scenario where we circle the wagons, and we can take it, make it like a carousel with lights each Taco truck will have its own LED color tone. We'll put all these chairs in the center. We'll have a mariachi band and we'll have a circle bar in the center where we can hop them all around while they're drinking. That got me the job. Okay, just that. So because it's, I went deeper than just the, uh, the yeah. superficial. I went much deeper into the script and really sought 
uh, and took it to where the characters and the emotion and all that stuff was driven from. And I have something very important to say here, and that is um, when you're in these interviews... <laughs> Andrew read, I've done that and it cost me the job. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's totally right because it could go either way. Yes. You could say, the director could say, I, I hate that idea, whatever. So what I think what Shane's trying to convey is that there are certain risks that you need to take, but... You need to feel those out in the interview and you need to authentically be yourself, right? Because I say this so often, but it's very, very true. With the same skill set, it's going to, they're going to pick the person that they're just the most comfortable with, that they want to spend the next, you know, four or five months with, right? Yeah, I find that, you know, one of the reasons I say those kind of things is I want to know if they're a collaborator as well. 